So, The Tragedy of the Young Turks is a sad story. It's a, it's a story of decay and uh, a horrible situation. It's a story which, of living in California, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, which, um, as things get worse, people continue to vote for the Democrats even harder, which is another... Another indication that everything's going well. I, I know the reason for this, because what, what, what you do... You can't say it. No, no, no. <laughs> no that's not the reason. No, no. Why, why they continued on this path? Because the, the worse things get, the more they realize that the Republicans who haven't converted to the utopian ideology are the thing that holds people back. So we can get more and more Democrats, more of us, once we're all on exactly the same page, then utopia will be achieved. And, well, we're seeing this in real time in California. Mm -hmm. We'll start off just by mentioning something from the website, of course, being Frank Decotter's The Tragedy of Liberation book club we did, because, well, the results of leftism are entirely predictable. Yes. They, they were in China, and they certainly are in California, which is that, well, democracy is truly dying in California in darkness, because <laughs> the, the power's not on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, like, we saw this. <laughs> this is That's a, just hilarious, I, though. I, I, Let's get the next one. Sorry, I'm going to laugh so much at this, but it's but unbelievable. The Washington Post, though, like, when democracy does that, everyone's like, that's a crap tagline. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, we know, we just had to go with it. But then actually... The power goes the, out. Yeah, the power starts going out in democratic states, and they're like, well... Well, there's no democracy it's here. It's kind of true, actually. It's, a, it's kind of a prediction. Yeah, we have Cenk Yuga coming out and saying, we're off air tonight uh, because the power went out in L.A., as it does all the time. Amazing. Eric Garcetti is the worst mayor of all time. I bet you voted for him. He hasn't bothered to do his job in years. No kidding. <laughs> Why do you keep voting? The Democrats running LA are the most incompetent people on the planet. And corrupt. Which is why you should vote blue, no matter who. <laughs> Cenk. But I'm not going to vote for a Republican. <laughs> like, okay, Cenk. I just... I love George Alexopoulos' thing. You wanted this. It's like, yes, every time you voted left wing, that's what you were voting for. Every single time. I suppose, that, let's check out all the responses. To, <laughs> I haven't had time to read it. You voted for it, yeah. Uh, turn on the windmill. Uh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Did you vote for us, man? Just wondering. God. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. But the thing is, like, Kabul probably has a better a more stable power supply than LA at this point. Yeah. And I just... It, 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 Have you tried breathing like a baby? <laughs> 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 the clown makeup. <laughs> I wonder if the lights are still on in Florida. Is Dave it? Dave Rubin, who's just posting from Florida. Lol. <laughs> just, yeah, weirdly, no blackout there. <laughs> it's, it's it's weird that one. I, mean, I was chatting to Destiny yesterday on on Lauren Chen's stream, and and he he tried defending this. Where he was like, yeah. "Yeah, well, California's a desert with a growing population, and it's yeah. really hard to keep the power supply on." And like, it's not got a growing population. Uh, just, uh, whereas Texas is um, not a desert and, and doesn't have it has a, a shrinking population. No, it's the opposite way around. Yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> it's also the fact that he tried to compare it to Texas, being like, "Yeah, well, Texas power supply went off." And I was like, "Yeah, when fucking Ice Age Act came, God, yeah." <laughs> but you know, another and, Tuesday in LA, and that's so, because they had lots of wind farms, isn't it? And the ice froze the wind, uh, froze the the windmills. And there was also, I think, problems with the gas as well, yeah. but. It's, it's just like, you know, Rio Sophia act of nature versus <laughs> it's a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> and the, then Northern California gets the power on the Tuesday. <laughs> Southern California it's not your gets turn, it on the Mr. Wednesday. Check you go, you've got to wait. <laughs> you got the next one, though. I just so love Just as a quick thing, right? Have you, have you noticed just the, like, the Democrats have had this tremendous and unexpected victory? Well, they can't and, keep the lights on. And yet they're still coping, right? They're still like, yeah, but I mean, everything isn't terrible it's like yeah but it actually is terrible so no no we won it's like yeah then why don't you have this kind of uh, you know exultancy in your victory it's like that was a great unexpected victory and now it's just like, oh god we fought hard and we beat them it's like we didn't fight hard we knew we were losing yeah and now we've won oh god you know like like there's n there's no joy in the victory you know but anyway no, it is, but it's also just like oh, i'm so glad we won my lights are still off <laughs> <laughs> It's a good place to run a media company, isn't it? Those damn Republicans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've never been more glad that we have a, we have electricity. <laughs> Could be worse. If you donate three pounds a day to Californians, we can get the lights working. Actually, Chink. they can't because they no. spend it on renewable energy, yeah. which is why they don't have light. But I do love these memes as well. Democracy dies in darkness. The little Pepe just going lights out. Mm. Time for no more lighting, Mr. Chenk. But this isn't just Chenk, of course, uh, but he continued whining. We have him saying, I'm very disgruntled with Democratic Party in California. Yeah. Why do you keep voting for it? Why, yeah. why are you you've a been, member of it? You've been why shilling them for the last 15 years, Cenk. But I voted for all Democrats in the state <laughs> and national level. 
Because reason? lunatic Republicans want to end our democracy, take away women's rights, control their own bodies, and attack the LGBT community. That's right. It, it is literally, we sit here in the dark without our air conditioning in the middle of California. For or, trans rights. Yeah, or the Republicans <laughs> kill everyone. Like, that's, can you, like, you're a political pundit, Jenk. You should be, like, compass mentis enough to be able to understand what is BS propaganda and what is actual substantive policy. No. No, just the enemy wants to kill us. Yeah, that's, yeah. Oh, that's... they're coming. We're in a bunker. You yeah. know, a dark, cold. Well, no, a dark, hot bunker. But enough, in actually, California. It's not even like oh, they're going to cause with needles. You know, disorder <laughs> which creates crime, which actually causes murder. Yeah. No, they're actually going to form death squads and come and kill us all, <laughs> like the Third Reich. And uh, it, and and that is why we have the the power off, son. That is why you can't, can't watch it. <laughs> That's why you have to walk around heroin addicts in the street, son. You know? Chen's having to explain to Hassan, just be like, well, you can't stream or eat the chicken nuggets tonight. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, that's just... why we've got a 50% tax rate, son. Okay? It's yeah. either that or everything falls apart. That's, it, 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 if you ever listen to North Korean propaganda about America, there's a wonderful tape. I don't know if you've ever seen it. No. Talking about how Americans are all homeless and have to eat snow to survive. <laughs> that's basically true. But it's just the, the levels of ridiculousness. And it's like, oh, it's good we live in North Korea. Oh, we want to live out there. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, they're literally just going to be pointing to California. But like, look, they don't even have power. Yeah, well, North Korea doesn't have any power either. Well, and Chen sure, Huga but... doesn't have any power. It's sad they're being like, well, at least I'm left wing. <laughs> at least I don't live in the right wing areas. Go <laughs> <laughs> comical beyond belief and of course Anna Kasparian yep. also not having a nice evening yep, yep. <laughs> have her going with yep. haven't gone live yet due to power jouted at the studio in LA oh yeah if you moved to Texas wouldn't have been a problem this state and especially this city you're really the most blue city on the planet <laughs> I think it may be yep. I think that's got to be true no I think but it probably is more than New York City Especially is it, Portland. Yeah, maybe. That's <laughs> literally anyone who's red gets shot in the street. Which again is, is actually terrible. happened. <laughs> Unironically, if people who don't know, the, the murder that happened there, <clears throat> the political assassination was just a guy wearing a MAGA hat who got executed. Yep. Absolutely is a case study for corrupt democratic failure. The most blue area is the most corrupt. Yes. Anna. Anna, Anna. But you don't have to be a member of the cult. You've, You've been got promoting a, this for you, 15 years. I, 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 actual Justice Warrior said yesterday, it was like, well, you know, all the problems Anna's complaining about, she doesn't live, you know, even with crime, she doesn't live anywhere near my minorities, for one. She, she's rich enough to move anywhere she wanted, and Good she's point. still sat there, just just, just complaining about how everything's getting more diverse and more blue, and everything's getting worse. <laughs> and and he, it's it's been happening for years. You're not tied to the land. You, you can actually get off the plantation, <laughs> as, as Candace would say. But isn't, isn't this just remarkable, though? Like, like uh, what, what like, a case study of insanity. I mean, at what point is she going to be like, right, I think I might not want to vote Democrat? Mm. I was going to say her house getting burnt down, but the mayor of Portland still stayed. Yes. And, yeah, okay, yeah. that's not going to work. I don't know. May maybe... But the cult is so strong. I mean, we, we've read multiple books on what's happened in China and North Korea. And, yeah. and I, I've read stories about people in the gulag system in North Korea who were still believers in communism. Mm -hmm. There was one um, tragic story. There was a lady who was Korean. She moved to Japan during the imperial era mm -hmm. because the Koreans got sent to imperial yeah, Japan. Yeah. And then after Korea got its independence, she and her whole family, she convinced they would all go back to North Korea. She was the one who did this because she was a communist. And she thought it was great. So then she went back, ended up in the gulags with the rest of her family. She's like, you know, she's brought everyone in her family line into yeah, a gulag yeah. by yeah. her actions. Thanks very much, yeah. She mules on this for a few days and then concludes that, well... Rightists did this. Kim Il-sung isn't a real communist. <laughs> I, I'm not joking. That is actually her conclusion. I mean, that's probably true as she, well. She died with that conclusion in the camp. Yep. So, no, I don't think Anna's ever going to get off the plantation, wasn't, maybe. <clears throat> wasn't this uh, Orwell as well, where, like you were saying, that you know, when presented with the, the evidence, they just can't bring themselves to believe it. Yeah, and done. so... And is just looking at the fact that like everything's falling apart. There are homeless people everywhere, drugs, crime, like power outages. Was the like, real Democrats? Yeah. yeah. I, ironically, if you get the tweet back, the problem is the party, not the ideology. You, you look at the wording. You know, corrupt mm. democratic failure. It's the corruption that's the problem, not not the you know philosophical base point. Yeah. That brings you to this failure. Yeah. No, no, no. We'll go to the next link because you know there was actually an act of God. In California last night, I, I heard there was there was a, a, a Richter ten earthquake, uh, hurricanes, uh, the, the floods. Uh, God himself, Gork and Mork turned up. Uh, God, <laughs> started God, punching God's out. like, look, I call, I told you, demon KKK <laughs> rats. Okay, uh, literal party of Satan. No, uh, it was sunny because um, it's California. Twenty two <laughs> degrees. That's like English summertime. Yeah. 
It's just uh, the maximum wind, 18 kilometers there. Um, unbearable. No, it looks awful. It's, 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 uh, there's At least the, they didn't need their aircon, I suppose. Yeah, so that's all it takes to take out California. It's truly an act of Gork and Mork. We'll also go to just the evidence of, obviously, California has less and less people every year, so cope yeah. more about, oh, no, the, the need for energy is going up. You, no one's using it. Yeah. Like, those people are gone. I mean, the Gigafactory probably gone as well, anyway. If we go to the yeah, next one. Yeah, a load of businesses left. She, she mentions this, this isn't even rare. She, she complains in here. There's, there's someone pointing out, it's like, oh, how dare you complain about this? Like, well, we have blackouts all the time. <laughs> what, but look at this interaction. Like, this is her talking to her audience. But she's having to argue with the lights off that things are bad. And the socialist boomer here is like, wow, everything's actually yeah. quite good. Amazing. Get, get out of it. Like, you are Amazing. in a cult. Because we have blackouts all the time. Yeah. It's just... just uh... Anyway, we go to the next one because uh, someone complains to her. Well, yeah, well, Texas is so much better, isn't it? Effing sellouts. Dunking on the Young Turks. Oh, you are not committed enough to the cause. I know. That's the problem. Uh, Lucas is also sat in darkness, but at least he doesn't think Texas has power, unlike you, you counter-revolutionary, thinking <laughs> that there's power beyond the borders of California. <laughs> <laughs> the entire world is in darkness at this point. Anna comes back with the uh, same craven corporate corruption that fools both of these trash parties, and yet, Governor uh, 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 Greg <clears throat> is charging his phone, and you're not. <laughs> it's, it's, it's strange, that one. He's, he's, he's still able to watch things on his TV it's plugged in. Doesn't need batteries. Governor Greg's <laughs> currently killing on Counter-Strike. <laughs> <laughs> Jake's oh, just looking at his blank screen. I love the Sad. idea you're playing Counter-Strike and there's some soy boy chat and then just a load of people leave the, leave the server. <laughs> California's <laughs> logged uh, out. Yeah. Another, another black hat in California, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, my fellow progressives is something I, I think we have to talk about with Anna. Because she wrote this article. You can see this came out well, was yep. a couple of days ago. Which says, my fellow progressives, we need to stop gaslighting on crime. I guess that she wrote this because it finally happened to her. Yeah. Mm. It's strange, that. Mm. It's only a problem when it happens to you. But like, I love this. Problem. We need to stop gaslighting. So the gaslighting will continue until Anna Kasparian persuades everyone that actually being sexually assaulted in public by a homeless man is not good. Yeah. How do you think this went down? Anna is insisting that maybe... Well, the pro-gaslighting as- lobby would have been like, no. No, Anna, yeah, they, you, they were. You, you absolute traitor to the cause. Went down like cancer. We're going to gaslight until everyone agrees with everything we say. If you go to the next link here, we can see uh, the response from the average leftist. Uh, <laughs> F out with this. <laughs> it's just like, okay. No, I'm going to keep gaslighting. <laughs> I'm the gaslighter in chief. Yeah. Right well, They're not questioning the fact that they are gaslighting. It's like, no, we're not going to stop. For, for all like the complaints you could ever have about the right wing, I've never had a problem with right wingers telling me that you know, maybe we should improve the country. And they're like, no, everything's perfect. <laughs> like, I don't feel that they're gaslighting me. No, nor, nor would they be so unreasonable as to insist that complaining about the power being off is like counter-revolutionary bourgeois thoughts. What do you mean you want electricity? What are you, a rightist? <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> well, we'll go to the article, because the artist, it, it's yeah, worse I mean, than... I, the, the right-wing equivalent would have to be something like what? Well, you know, if, if you don't... In, if you don't suffer rolling blackouts, then the the blacks win or something. I don't know. <laughs> you know like, I don't know. I mean, what would, even, what would even be the right wing argument? Because I mean, I, actually, it doesn't make any sense anyway. Okay, Mister Spencer. That sounds like the Democrat argument. So, well, there's a reason Richard Spencer's a member of the Democrats. Well, there's a reason he voted Joe Biden. Yeah, uh, uh, the clan were Democrats. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's not even the Republican argument. What would be no, what would be the, that's a toffee. Um, we have to suffer the rolling blackouts. You have to. You have else... to endure low taxes, or the foreigners win. I don't. I, I don't but think what, there's ever been a complaint about low taxes. If we don't suffer the consequences of low taxes, low order, yeah, low crime, um, I think the left wins because then they're able to protest. Yeah, because there's no one trying to stab them while they're doing it. I, I, Maybe I don't know. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's, 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 anyway, moving on. <laughs> Going down his article. <laughs> Imagine living as a leftist. They have their own unique problems. Is the point there? <laughs> But she um, imagine it, being trapped in a country with these people. It's it's bourgeois to want power. It's also bourgeois to not want to be raped, um, which is the conclusion for this one. If you think I'm joking? We're, we're going to go through it. It's been breathtaking to watch the same Democrats who spent more than two years ordering Americans to trust COVID-related data turn around and reject statistics showing a clear rise in violent crime. A crime wave may not be convenient for the party. Uh, yeah, you are living in a cult when you have to write that <laughs> in charge in the countdown to the elections, but it doesn't make it any less real. But isn't that interesting? Right, so the, the, the point of 
Democrat governance isn't to reduce crime. No, it's, right? it's just inconvenient. Right? If it wasn't inconvenient, then it would be fine. I, I also love how her conclusion there is essentially, um, her opening gambit to the left is, crime bad, guys. You never have to make that argument on the right. <laughs> Not once do you have to explain why murder is bad. Or to the regular voter. <laughs> the FBI newly released annual crime report, which isn't even complete. Oh, gosh, you're going to start talking about murder statistics. Estimated Aye. 2021... <laughs> There were 22,900 murders, bringing the nation's homicide rate to 6.9 per 100,000. It's the highest number in almost 25 years, following a 30% spike in homicides between 2019 and 2020. Don't know what happened then. 2019 to 2020? It was nothing important, Mass lawlessness. There? I don't think of that when I think of that year. I think of order. I, I think of... Um... But also the... Wasn't there something about police funding or lack thereof? And isn't there isn't there this general animus against the police that is just getting to quit generally? No, no, I yeah. think I, I think the left never did that. No, I just, no. It's in cities like Philadelphia, New York, <laughs> and Los Angeles, weirdly all uh, Democrat hubs. Yeah, not 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 rightist hubs. Uh, yep. Broke <laughs> annual homicide records. <laughs> We're number one. <laughs> Democrats succeed again. I don't know what you're talking about. Los Angeles number one. <laughs> no power. Everyone dead. <laughs> it's, just the, it's just the general background. <laughs> in the background. Like you're in like Baghdad or something. We've finally achieved communism. <laughs> <laughs> they also broke records for other violent crimes, such as robbery and aggravated assault. <laughs> Record breaking. <laughs> put, put that on the leaflet that you send <laughs> some of these stats are apparently wrong Sean was saying yesterday actual justice warrior because they're worse than they look no but it's just she's bad at math right, but okay. but things are definitely worse off nationwide that's yeah. that's true uh, it's no wonder that 61% of all voters including 8 in 10 black voters told the Pew Research Center that violent crime is very important to their midterm votes and that's why the Democrats are like right we're going to run on violent crime then that's the if this is if this is what they want we're going to give the people violent crime is important to our midterm votes okay we'll give you as much violent crime as we can that's what the Democrats took from that I, I also just like the Dems were advocating on a base of violent crime is our policy point. Yeah. And also, they, they unironically believed that black people want violent crime. Like, that's the phrasing there. The assumptions yeah. being made. It's like, I was surprised to find out that eight and black, ten black voters don't like crime. What? What did you think it was? Like, really, it really opens up the... Like, really sort of mask-off moment, isn't it? It's like, wow. Some assumptions that, you have about that, Yeah, that was what you people. thought of the black community, was it? They, they, they were, were pro-crime. Pro Mm. They wear their, their, their sneaking shoes mm. everywhere they go. Um, if you ever met a black person, I, I, just, <laughs> like, I know you don't live near any, but it's just... Yeah, all they get from Democrats and progressives is gaslighting. In an interview on MSNBC last week, New York Governor Kathy Huschel brushed off concerns about public safety as nothing more than conservative conspiracy theories to brainwash Americans into thinking they're less safe. Like, yeah, indeed. Just stand near the edge of the platform. Like, like, You'd be fine. Of, all of you are actually insane. That's that's a great point by Anna. I, I noticed how I mean, she's, just, she's waking up. Like, she's writing just, this. Uh, yeah, yeah, because we, we'd covered this previously a couple of weeks ago where she was complaining, look, there's this video of this guy who's been released from jail like 48 times and no bail or whatever, just punching a woman in the face randomly in the street. And it's like, well, hang on, you're being brainwashed by conservatives to think you're less safe. It's like, really? Really? How many videos of people just randomly punching women in the face did you get? Like and, 10 years ago. And also just during COVID, the solution was to get all the criminals out of the prisons <laughs> in New York. Good idea. There was a guy, I, yeah. I, I mean, everyone... Don't get COVID. Everyone's seen the Internet Historian's video, but if you haven't, there's, there's one guy in there who, like, within being let out, he's arrested five more times that day. Some people are just criminals. Some people just are. It's, well, eight in ten people in the black community say that criminality is very important to them, so they need more of it. But anyway, she says that everything is a conspiracy theory from the right. Uh, she writes, Is Governor Herschel under the impression that black voters feel less safe because they're watching Fox News? Uh, yep. D yep, you are in all insane. Yeah. Like, your front standards are actually mad. Yeah. Get out. All major crimes, with the exception of murder... <laughs> Why we are up in New York City this year. Police data shows a 33% jump in robberies, Good a 58% rise in grand uh, larceny. larceny, and 31% rise in sh shooting incidents. Promises Brilliant. made, promises kept. So like <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Huchel's comments on MSNBC's show were so woefully tone-deaf that she was forced to walk them back in a subsequent interview on NY1 in a 180-degree turn that was reminiscent of another progressive forced to confront reality. 
Funny how that keeps happening. Adam. This is brilliant. This article. I see. It's, <laughs> this is what I would have written. <laughs> uncanny. I mean, I don't know if she's trapped on the plantation just because that's where her income comes from, yeah, yeah, and she's not yeah. a progressive anymore. I, I yeah. hope that's the case because I mean, the evidence is in front of you about why this doesn't work. Yeah, it's in your own goddamn article you've written. The thing is, she doesn't understand why progressivism leads to these consequences. She has no, no. idea. This is like uh, all these progressives keep having to confront reality, but progressivism yeah. is still good. Yes. This time, she says in Los Angeles, during a debate last March, Democratic candidate for mayor, Congresswoman Karen Bass, was asked to rate how safe she feels in the streets of Los Angeles. Quote, I do feel safe, Bass answered. On a scale of 1 to 10, Bass rated her perception of safety as a solid 10. Bro, I'm an adult male. I don't feel safe in Los Angeles. Well, you're more likely to be killed in Los Angeles as a man. Possibly. This is a I'm a lot less likely to be raped. Well, um... <laughs> That might be true. <laughs> <laughs> However, that all that changed five months after she said she felt a solid 10 safe after two men burglarized her home <laughs> and stole two of her handguns. They took the guns. She says, quote, my safety has been shattered, Bass admitted, revising her personal safety rating to a five out of 10. <laughs> Men break into my home, steal my guns. That's a five out of 10, though. Uh, you know, it's about average. It's not about average. Yeah, being broken mad. into is not an average for anyone else. That's mad. <laughs> and this is my point. Like, you've given us multiple examples now, Anna, where your front runners are actually insane. I mean, like, seriously. Saying that that the all crime is a conspiracy theory from the right, that's a mad person. Saying that you feel about average safe after being broken into, you're a mad person. The FBI is a is a partisan organ of the Republicans that is creating false crime statistics in order to make people living in Democrat cities feel like they're unsafe when in fact they're very safe okay that's what the that's what the commitment is here. okay blue and on yeah. i, I, I don't know what insane. to say as a progressive myself it's been frustrating to see members of my political group drop the ball but what are you what would your solution be as a progressive as a progressive you're committed to the idea that society has made these people bad against their own will and inclinations and so they have to be well treated in order to be reformed mm -hmm. in order to be let back out in society it's not that there are some people who are intrinsically bad and who need to be punished for their crimes which is the non-progressive opinion that the republicans have like it's you you are committed to these things as a progressive i don't know where you can go but also, if you actually believe those progressive ideals, why do you ever have a police force? Because yeah. if people are intrinsically good, and, and then some people just, you know, and there's no one who's just bad. And it or is an society asshole, that's just evil towards them. I, I, I don't get it. Democrat I, society yeah. in California. It's, it's also amazing. She's like, oh, it seems that every progressive keeps dropping the ball on crime <laughs> time after time. Don't I want happens. hardcore Republican. <laughs> Views on crime, actually. Thank you. Poll after poll shows crime as one of the voters' top concerns this election cycle. Well, apparently not, turns out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, much like Governor Huschel <laughs> and Representative Bass, progressive activists and politicians have downplayed the crime wave by blaming right-wing fear-mongering and conservative <laughs> media for concerns about public safety. It, on the plus side, they didn't know that young people would literally be so stupid as to vote pro-crime. It's, it's amazing. But th th your point is 100% correct, which is that... Yeah, of course you can't <coughs> win the ball on crime. You you actively promote being soft on criminals. You argue they're just poor souls who who need a social worker, mm. not ten lashes mm. for stealing those guns. Yeah, I mean, like whenever I hear about, um, uh, I've forgotten the name now. The, the country just on the tip of Malaysia, uh, Singapore, right? Just just their crime system. The fact that they have the lowest crime rate on the planet, and the way they've dealt with that <laughs> is not with social workers. Yeah. It, it is with oh, you've been caught littering. <laughs> There's a funny story I got told. There was a guy, American, who was caught littering. He was given yeah. 10 lashes. And then they decided, well, they issued a public statement. There was a big discussion with the American government. This was barbaric. The Americans were insisting. So the, the Singaporeans said, well, we have a very good relationship with the United States. We don't want to spoil it. So this man, he will be given seven lashes. That's very generous. Beautiful. You know, uh, in, in the late 19th century, uh, Britain had over 200 uh, different criminal offenses that could result in the hanging. Yeah, I think the bloody code might be a bit too far. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to commit to that. Anyway. I'm not progressive. <laughs> In reality, the right's messaging on crime is potent because the crime wave is real, she writes. Welcome to reality. I bet, I bet the crime rates were really bloody low at the end of the 19th century, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, negatively impacting the lives of the same minorities and working people the left claims to represent. Crime hurts minorities. She's right there. Look at yeah. that assumption again. It's a very right-wing perspective. No, 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 Anna. Like that's a very left-wing perception, which is she's she's shocked to find out that crime hurts minorities. 
You were making the assumption that crime is for minorities. You 100% were. This That's re- a great point. The entire viewpoint. That's a great point. This is not the first time. Like, we have this every couple crime? of months. That's a black people problem. <laughs> some kind of Kasparian. Yeah, some progressive, no progressive will make the statement that they are, they are <laughs> shocked to find out that minorities are not pro-crime. The minorities are hurt by crime, they, th- which implicitly means God. all of you unironically believe that crime is for minorities. It is their number yeah. one pursuit, pastime, um, you know, hobby, if you will. Uh, it's just how C- you think about cultural people. Cultural norm. That's what she's thinking. <laughs> I, 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 okay, self-report on a, on a grand scale yeah. and something that is never called out. And I, I just don't get it. It just because you even see it from Republicans sometimes, or they'll mention it because they're they're appealing to a Democrat, mm-hmm. and they'll say, "By the way, black people don't like crime either." But you look at that assumption, the power dynamic. Yeah. They know that the Democrats think that black people are for crime and only think of crime, and think blacks are for crime, and have to be convinced that no, 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 actually, black people don't want crime. I'm for the bloody code, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. She she writes a recent survey by the Kaiser Family Foundation <clears throat> and the uh, Drio found that only seventy percent of black voters support decreasing funding for police departments in their area. <laughs> Again, the assumption being that she just thinks black people are thugs. Yeah. It's just like, what do you mean that only 17% want to get rid of the police? I, th- I thought they, I thought that was the number one enemy. I, I thought, <laughs> and, I thought they'd like... double that one sit increase. <laughs> just... Actually, I'd like fewer crimes, but you're black. I, I, <laughs> so are, you just, are you just trying to play on hard mode? I, like, <laughs> just, just look at those assumptions you're making, woman. For Christ's sake. No, no self-respection. I've seen the crime wave and the police shortage play out firsthand, she writes in Los Angeles, a city where I am born and raised and still live today. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yet when I vocalise my own concerns about my c- crime, my fellow progressives gaslight me and demand I reject what I've seen with my own eyes. I mean, literally, that's Orwell's final command from the party, that they reject the evidence of their own eyes. That's yes. literally what you are saying here, Anna. Bro, you signed up for this. I don't know why you're shocked. Well, I mean, she was born and raised in it. Yeah. I've been told repeatedly that Literally it's all in my head. Well's nightmare in LA. Yeah. I've been told repeatedly that it's all in my head. <laughs> yeah, Even you- after I was sexually assaulted by a stranger in my neighborhood. That's mad. It's, it's, don't believe your lying eyes. Don't yeah. believe your lying reality. The party demands. The party insists you were not raped. I, I just... Yeah. You were not sexually assaulted. Comrade, you are not murdered. God well, he's dead, yeah. so he, <laughs> like, that one's less debatable. <laughs> but it's just, she ends it off with, I'm urging my fellow progressives to take crime seriously. <laughs> Number one, what a thing to say. What a, what a world you live in where you have to write that. It's but a also, vote winner, though, let's be fair. And, and do what? What do you want your fellow progressives to do? If, if you're taking crime seriously, how do you do that in a progressive way? If we abolish criminality, then all crime goes away. Indeed. Indeed, I do love Somalia. But the, the fact is, there just there isn't one, really, to actually solve the crime problem. There's the boot. And this is the thing. Like, you've got to deal with the drugs to stop turning your people into beggars. Institutionalize you're mentally insane. I mean, just looking at America, what day goes by we don't see some mental person oh, it's awful. on a subway it's awful. Just, just being horrific or, yeah. or just random attacks from mental just people the amount, the amount or of druggies or homeless. Awful, like gang attacks where it's just like some guys go up to a car and start shooting into the car and I'm just like, yeah. wow. Just like, okay, mental problem in the United States, that needs to be fixed. Yeah. Drug problem, that needs to be fixed. Feeds into the mental, obviously. Lack some criminality problem. That and then punish the wrongdoer. Don't just release him. Bloody code. <laughs> bloody code. <laughs> I, I, I don't endorse the bloody code. But what, what was, I'm trying to think of the pettiest. Why? When I was in school, we started learning about all of the different things you could get the death penalty for in England yeah. in the 1800s. Yeah. I think it was like... I was sat there going, well, that's base. Stealing a, a thruppence, I think, yeah. got you the death penalty. Why not? Thruppence. That was a lot of money back then. Well, not really. You know about the, you Comparatively. Know about the penny houses. Yeah, so, but uh, like a penny could buy you like you know a week's worth of food. No, it couldn't. Like not quite so, um, in uh, the time of uh, Jack the Ripper, mm-hmm. I don't know if you know, but there's these little penny houses. I can't remember the specific name, but if you needed a place for the night, and uh, maybe you rent a, a hotel, you're thinking. But no, back in those days, if you were poor, what you'd rent is a rope. So, <laughs> <laughs> not in the way you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny though. No, but they're, they're <laughs> you just rent a rope. <laughs> so there's these like hostels, yeah. right, where you just have a rope lined across the the building, and then you have like ten ropes down the down the, the corridor. Mm. And what would happen is you get in your drunken state, and you'd lie against the rope, and you'd hang on the rope. And in the morning, mm. some guy would come round and slap you and undo the rope, so you'd get up and get out. It cost a penny. Complete sidetrack, but <laughs> but that's uh, that's that's you know 
fine. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> you know, side But if you stole three threepence, would you get you three nights of that? That's that's death. Or, or, yeah, but all I'm saying is you didn't need to steal that threepence. It wasn't yours. No, it wasn't. I, harsh, I do agree. Harsh, but fair. Anyway, no, instead we shall use the progressive solution to celebrate drugs, celebrate the mentally ill, and also think that punishment is barbaric, which is why an American man only gets seven lashings instead of ten in Singapore, which, grand shame. If you appreciated that segment from the podcast of the Lotus Eaters, you can go to lotuseaters.com to get access to all the content we have on the site, such as the articles we do, this one from Carl on the 2021 census. What's the damage? And if you'd like to follow what else we're putting out, you can follow us on Getter at lotuseaters underscore com on Getter. Thank you and goodbye.